YouTube, can you hear me? Hello everybody and welcome. We are gearing up for this week's episode of Switch It Up. We are doing a few final checks here before we go live. Hope everybody is having a good week so far. Final checks here going live. So everything looks good there. We are going to get things rocking and rolling here in just a moment. For those of you not familiar with Switch It Up, hello, how you doing? Uh, this is a video we do each and every Monday or Tuesday, depending on what's going on, talking about the different new releases hitting the Nintendo Switch eShop. Now, this week's episode is going to be, oh, you just bought UFC 3, very cool deal, eh? Um, probably a little bit more abbreviated, a little bit lower key this week, just because I honestly kind of feel like crud. Um, I don't know if any of you ever suffer from migraine headaches, but I have got one, been feeling pretty nauseous throughout the day. Um, pretty much if there's not, um, video in the eShop from Nintendo on a title, unfortunately this week, uh, we are just going to skip the video. We're just going to talk about uh, the games that are coming out, but we don't have uh, additional video on that. We will be back in the swing of things with that next week. I do thank you all for your understanding on that. So we are going to start this week, though, with Everspace, the Stellar Edition. This comes out tomorrow on the 11th. And it is $31.99 on sale for 20% off at release. It's normally $39.99. Let's check out the video together. And as always, if video is neat or if the audio needs to come up or down, please let me know and we'll make some changes. Hey, Jack, how you doing? So kind of a first person in vehicle space shooter. You can change the uh, looks of your ship, which is kind of cool. Soundtrack's pretty rocking if this is what the music actually is in the game. Looks like you can have multiple ships too, or multiple different ship configurations. To execute search and destroy warrants in the demilitarized zone. You're a bounty hunter? It reminds me a lot of, first of all, that reminds me of the Jedi Starfighter in uh, Revenge of the Sith, but the characters that were on screen remind me a little bit there of um, Destiny. The Coalition have bigger plans. The place is infested with gray goose swarms. Someone has to destroy them. Oh, sounds good, DOA. So it looks like you can power up and modify your ship as you go through the game, too. Not a bad looking game. Uh, Thirty-one ninety-nine runs on the Unreal Engine, so I mean it should have a pretty good uh, gameplay experience as you go through there. Normally thirty-nine ninety-nine, thirty-one ninety-nine, and you do get one hundred and sixty Nintendo eShop coins. It is a single player, and it features a single player roguelite space shooter with persistent progression, captivating story featuring interesting and thoughtfully designed characters, three unique player ships, each with different capabilities. Vibrant art styles, in-depth crafting and damage system, dynamic functional cockpit displays for all player ships, uh, includes encounter DLC featuring a new player ship, side missions, new weapons, and alien life forms, and includes a digital art book and soundtrack. If you're into space shooters, might not be a bad one to check out. Now, Kingdom Two Crowns also comes out on the 11th. This is the second of three releases. It is $19.99. And this is our first one that does not have a video. Again, for those of you who are coming in a little bit late, uh, if the 
Uh, games do not have videos this week, unfortunately. Um, I'm not feeling too hot right now. I did not have a chance to uh, download the videos uh, to help supplement things. I'll get back in the swing next week, I promise. Uh, we'll answer, Jack, that question towards the end of the stream, if that's cool. If I forget to answer the question, Jack is wondering what my favorite Switch game is, uh, I will respond to that before the end of the stream. So this is uh, in, in the award-winning Kingdom series. Players took the role of the monarch struggling to build their kingdom uh, from nothing. Hundreds of thousands of players across the world explored, recruited, loyal subjects, so on and so forth. Uh, kingdom Two Crowns builds upon the challenging micro-strategy experience with an evolution of the celebrated franchise. Key features, brand new campaign mode built upon the classic micro-strategy that made Kingdom successful. Two crowns to rule them all. The struggle to build your kingdom need not be ventured alone. Strategize and defend your realm together in local co-op uh, for dro or drop-in or drop-out co-op. New features and new strategies throughout here. This is 1999. Let's check out some of the artwork that goes into this too. Uh, definitely that 8-bit, 16-bit um, sort of pixel style here. Not a bad-looking game, kind of that, that action RPG. Um, maybe a little bit of Zelda 2 in here. Um, it is one or two player, it says, and they are calling it a strategy RPG game, and that comes out on the 11th. Now, Desert Child, this is eleven ninety nine. comes out. This is the third of three games coming out tomorrow on the 11th. And I did actually check out to try to download this one first uh, from the Nintendo website. And before I could go into the web page, I had to verify uh, my date of birth. So it's almost like this is a more mature game, perhaps. Uh, in this game, you're broke, you're hungry, and your only friends are a vintage hover bike, a bowl of ramen noodles, and nothing else. In Desert Child, you are a young and talented hover bike racer who needs to figure out how you can escape scrape enough cash together through racing and odd jobs to punch your one-way ticket to the red planet to enter the biggest race in the universe the grand prix i know it's grand prix i was being funny um yeah the features include hunt bounties deliver pizzas throw races do anything you can to earn cash explore a pixel art solar system inspired by cowboy bebop akira and redline Customize your beloved bike with guns, amplifiers, and shameless advertising. Dine on a wide range of interplanetary cuisine with sweet buffs to help you win. Master deep combat and racing mechanics and define your own style. Race, shoot, and get better design for replayability with secrets that keep you coming back. Chill to an original lo-fi hip-hop soundtrack. Challenge your friends through local multiplayer. This is a one-to-two game action racing RPG simulation. And... I don't see um, Cowboy Bebop in here. Um, never really watched Akira much. But, okay, if that's what they're going for. Now, this is from the same developers, uh, Akupara Games, and they also created Chicken Assassin Reloaded, and if you haven't seen it yet, Buck Buck, Mother Cluckers. Uh, you need to go back and check out our episode of Switched Up where we talked about that. Um, and that is our last of three games coming out tomorrow on the 11th. Now, starting on the 13th, nothing coming out on the 12th. We do have Omen Sight, the Definitive Edition. And this is normally $19.99 on sale for $17.99. And very much a cell shaded type combat game is what it looks like here. Uh, we will go through, again, as well, there's no video. I, again, I apologize for that. Um, from the award-winning creators of stories, The Path of Destinies, Amon Sight is an action murder mystery game. You are the Harbringer, a powerful mystical warrior. You have witnessed the destruction of the world. In order to prevent annihilation, you are destined to repeat that faithful day and solve the murder of the godless priestess, whose death precipitated the apocalypse. The sale does end on the 12th. Uh, so you have through tomorrow to go ahead and take advantage of that 10% off. They are classifying this as an action-adventure fighting game. Um, 3D Fighter basically is what it looks like on here. Oh, you dirty rats. You see the rats in there? 
Next up, and these are basically two games in one. You have Knights of Pen and Paper 2, the Deluxiest Edition, which I have to admit, I love the name of that. And then there's also a bundle that includes Knights of Pen and P Paper, the Deluxe Year Edition, plus Knights of Pen and Paper, the Deluxiest Edition. There is a bundle. So for just the second game, it's $12.99, and you do get 65 Nintendo eShop coins. And then in the bundle, it is $22.49, and then you get 113 Nintendo eShop coins. Um, and basically, it's just a discounted way to get both games. Let's check out the video on this one. Let me know, too, how the audio and everything, if it's coming through okay. Yes, Pop, come on. Listen, kid, when I was young, I played this game of pen and paper. Of course, you didn't have electricity back then. Very funny, kid. I'll show you how a classic old-school RPG comes to modern consoles. In this game, you can choose among lots of interesting characters. You could even be a delivery guy. Say what? I get to eat pizza? Of course, it's almost impossible to have a party. That's very similar to what you could do in the first game. I remember anyway, talking about the original Knights of Pen and Paper when that came out uh, a few months back for the Switch. The old days of adventure, you had many terrific monsters to fight, like spiders and skeletons. Nothing terrific. Didn't you have dragons back then? Of course we did. We also had books. I still prefer dragons. I would have beaten them all. Easy to say, kids. Kind of that nice split between 8-bit and 16-bit graphics that you have on here. But again, for me, it's an RPG, so it'd be a pass for me. Um, but this is a good bundle if you are into both games that it does include both of them. And now in the second one, let's check this out real quick. Uh, prepare to inhabit a world of chivalry, class warfare, and offbeat pop references in the sequel for the successful and award-winning game, Knights of Pen and Paper. Uh, assemble your party and control your group of pen and paper role players as they're guided through their adventures by the game master. All the fun of pen and paper, RP, none of the lost dice. Uh, punch a panda, explore your anger management issues, create your own characters, know, how, know about a rocker, dwarf, warrior, or cheerleader, elf, monk. More contemporary geeky jokes that you can stuff in a cave. Got to catch them all. Wait a second. Wrong series. Uh, lots of monsters, equipment, and crafting system and things to customize. Murphy, the answer is no. I've got Murphy the, the Beeble in here, and he lost his ball behind something <laughs> that I will have to address here in a moment because he's being a puke. Uh, why don't you guys go ahead and read what's on screen while I get his ball. Just a moment. That's what happens when you let the dogs in. Uh, the deluxiest edition of Knights of Pen and Paper 2 includes the following bonus items and expansions. Fist of One Plus Fury, Here Be Dragons, Back to the Source, Epic Mount, Exclusive Grinding, grinding Farm Location, and a whole lot more. This is single player, $12.99. Like I say, you can get the bundle for $22.49. Also on the 13th, this is Starman, and my first hope when I saw this was that it would be a takeoff of the John Carpenter movie from the early 80s with, um, oh, God, what was his name? Not Lloyd Bridges. Um, Jeff Bridges. But, alas, it's not. Let's check out Starman. I said, let's check out Starman. I know the trend is to do like these minimalistic games lately. Um, I'm not into that. I'd rather see something that's vibrant and has color. So that didn't show us much in that uh, little bit. You need to guide Starman through breathtaking architectural sceneries with delicate atmospheres and elaborate puzzles. Recover the light and bring the life back. 
Uh, we crafted more than 30 puzzles inside 24 levels across nine totally different chapters to keep you playing between an hour and a half and three hours. It's short and sweet. Flow mode, when you finish the main story, an endless flow mode will be unlocked for you. Starman is our first game, 100% indie, developed with love in Spain by Sergio Abril and Jacob Abril, two brothers that happen to be architects. It is $8.99, and you do happen to get 45 Nintendo eShop coins. Now, Blue Rider is also $8.99. You get 45 Nintendo eShop coins, and you get to fight against the robotic forces of evil. Let's check it out. Hey John, how you doing? So you get nine beautiful stages. Almost reminds me of a zoomed out version of Ratchet and Clank with, uh, with the different ships. Graphically, this is pretty nice. Upgradable weapons. Big money. Big prizes. I like it. Actually, John, quite honestly, I'm, I'm kind of hurting right now. I'm fighting a major migraine, so a little bit of a lower key switch it up this week. Now, for those of you watching... Well, Tipster, this is something where we've been doing for 30 weeks here. Welcome to the stream, first of all. Um, we get the community together, and we all just discuss what's coming out. Um, and it's one of those things where sometimes it's nice just to kind of hang out with the community and uh, and hang out with everyone and see what's going on. So if you don't like it, it's not your thing, that's okay. I don't mind. Um, so in this one here, eight ninety nine, forty five 45 Nintendo eShop coins. And let's dive more into some of the details that we have. Uh, you get nine unique biomes, overflowing with enemies, customize your arsenal and discover your own strategy, challenge to defeat nine different bosses, explosions, explosions, and more explosions. Um, looks like it could be a fun kind of shoot 'em up. Um, I'd be interested to see exactly what the levels entail on here. But for $8.99, might not be worth something to check out. Now, Hunter's Legacy, the perfect edition. This also comes out on the 13th, $6.99. And again, they're calling this a Metroidvania. I, I'm just getting really, really tired of that term. Um, it's overplayed and it's not original anymore. Yeah, John, I don't have, uh, I've only got the Switch and the PS4 myself, although we do have Ginger's dad's, uh, bought the kids an Xbox, uh, her, for her brother's kids, and so that's here right now. I never play it. See, I guess looking at this, I don't see Metroid or Castlevania in it, so... I think that's something that developers really need to kind of kind of knock it off with, like calling it a Metroidvania game. Uh, it's only $6.99, though, and for $6.99, checking out the graphics and everything, I mean, it looks decent. How many levels and whatnot do we have? Uh, let's see. Hunter's Legacy Perfect Edition features new story sequences, more character dialogues, new animations, and updated level design. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about the length of it. Uh, it's a 2D platformer where you control Icky, a powerful huntress cat equipped with twin swords, a bow, and magical abilities who must save the kingdom of Irapur from the evil Mordor. Okay. Uh, and that one comes out, like I say, on the 13th. Almighty Tree, The Last Dreamer. This is 20% off. Uh, comes out on the 13th as well. Normally $19.99 on sale for $15.99 and you do get 50 or 80 Nintendo eShop coins. The sale does end 
um, on the 13th as well. Again, this is one I would have pulled down a video for it, just not feeling well tonight. Uh, so kind of see what the screenshots and everything look like here. This reminds me very much of like Final Fantasy VII on the PlayStation Classic, just with the art and animation style they decided to go with here. Uh, they're calling this a puzzle game 3D platformer. Uh, I'm not into Perfect Paul. Asked if there are any good N64 Raspberry Pi shells. Um, never shot for them, so I couldn't tell you. Um, let's see. The world is shattering. You are the only hope to restore the balance. A thrilling and challenging 3D puzzle platformer game. Almighty Tree, the last dreamer, has you racing through a crumbling world to find your way to awaken the life-giving Almighty Tree. Yeah, not a whole lot here. Um, this is where, again, I really, really... Uh, developers, get a video over to Nintendo. There wasn't even one on Nintendo's website to check out. So uh, for that, you know, not that it's a whole lot of money, but for the price, at least put a little bit of effort into it uh, if you could. That would be greatly appreciated. Um, let us check here real quick as well. Yeah, 10 thumbs down. Yeah. So, uh, Tipster is a fat biatch. Yeah, nice trolling. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to, uh, pardon me for a second, but we are going to remove and we are going to put the time up. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, Fantasy Star Sega Ages. This is one of the cool things that we're starting to see more and more, not just of the NES-style games hitting the Switch with the NES online service, but we're also getting stuff like this, and it looks to be a pretty authentic recreation of Fantasy Star. Um, it does have, I like how in the you know upper left-hand part of the screen you have Master System Sega Ages, that kind of branding and everything. Um... Yes, and Perfect Paul, uh, one thing that you mentioned there, too, is there will be a USB version of those Platinum controllers, so something to keep in mind. Um, it's Fantasy Star, $7.99. Um, you know, it's a classic if you like RPGs. Um, it is just a single player. Take advantage of the new dungeon map display and the acclaimed Ages mode as you traverse tricky dungeon mazes and battle ferocious 8-bit beasts. Fantasy Star has claimed its place as a pioneer RPG, which is one of the reasons why I will not be buying it. Again, not an RPG fan. Now, Big Bash Boom, this is a crit cricket game. Uh, $29.99 and comes out on the 13th. And I have to admit, I don't remember Cricket being brought to any Nintendo system prior to this. I don't know that it's really that popular. Um, it's kind of weird to me looking at the animation style and whatnot that they've gone with here is that, um, you know, it reminds me of Big Head Mode on um, NBA Jam. The, the heads are just much bigger than... The, the main body of the rest of the animation character. Uh, but above and beyond that, you know, if you're into cricket, might be something for you to check out. It's $29.99, though, so I've got to figure this is something that they really developed for a European market and they're bringing over to the U.S. Uh, it mixes all the big hitting thrills of T20 cricket with instantly accessible arcade action. Anyone, anywhere will be able to jump in and be hitting the ball like a pro with Big Bash Boom which is officially licensed and includes all teams and players, including this year's KFC Big Bash League and Rebel Women's Big Bash League. There you go. Now, OxyJet, this comes out on the 13th as well. It's $14.99. Let's check out the video together. Where is that play button? Ah, here we go. ho, <laughs> Uh, started at the good stuff. Sorry, but I need to show you the basics first. Okay, I already like that this kind of has a sense of humor to it. They need Top down to fighting on a spaceship. And to do so without using the engine. You may ask why, but don't. Step one cut holes in the ship. 
Step two, watch the old beauty go. Step three, get your mate to close the old. Okay, not a fighting game. Basics finally done. Now, let's get to the fun part. <laughs> the opponents. <laughs> Siren, that's funny. Oxygen cloud, but Team Orange will surely put up a fight. Oh, well, so it looks like a, a unique take on Capture the Flag where you're basically really bouncing your ship about. in and out of that main circle. Hold on to your Almost like, um, oh, what am I thinking of? Uh, curling. It's like a space version of curling. Three minute battle, so I mean it's a quick pickup set down. Uh, no one's really brought a, a golf game to the Switch yet, John. I mean, there's Golf Story, but I don't know if that really counts. So, Oxyjet looks like you're basically venting atmosphere from throughout the ship to. Um, to move it around. There's hectic three minute battles, two to four player, either playing locally or online as uh, asymmetrical co-op gameplay, controlling spaceship like you have never seen before. Sumo wrestling on, yep, sumo wrestling, I see that now too. Several, excuse me, different arenas, test your ship maneuvering skills and use power-ups to dominate your foes. $14.99 comes out on the 13th. Also on the 13th, Roller Coaster Tycoon. This is a game that has been around forever and a day just being updated for the current generation of consoles and if you like um you know any of the the previous games this should be right up your alley 49.99 there's going to be a physical release as well um john i'm not into it i'll play mini golf from here and there but that's that's about it um you can build over 200 wacky rides coaster shops and more um Let's see. Build your entertaining or entertainment empire in three different distinct modes. Classic campaign scenario and open sandbox. Over 200 wonderfully wacky rides, restaurant shops, and decorations. Ensure parks burst with action and the intuitive coaster lets you create wild, death-defying coasters with ease. Play on your TV or on the go as you would expect. It's only a single player. Kind of a large file size at 2 gig, too. Um, but that is Roller Coaster Tycoon coming from Atari of all places. Battle Princess Madeline, this comes out on the 13th, 1999. And this one again, normally we'd have a video right now. Again, sorry guys, just not feeling well tonight. Uh, you get 10 levels, each of, each of which includes up to five stages. Amazingly detailed hand-drawn pixel art. Uh, it follows the journey of a young knight in training, Madeline and her ghostly pet dog, Fritzy, they set out on a journey to save her kingdom and her family from the clutches of an evil wizard. Single player comes out on the 13th. Gris, now this one looked really interesting. Uh, $16.99, also on the 13th. Really like the art and animation style on this one when I checked this out to begin with. Let me know what you guys think of these so far as we're going through here with... It being the week after a major AAA release in Smash Brothers, normally it's going to be a down week, and, and that's kind of what this seems like. Uh, with only 20 releases, too, that's, that's a bit on the light side. In some ways, the animation almost reminds me of the old Eon Flux animation. Uh, if any of you remember Liquid Television. Interesting the way the, I don't know if you'd call it a cloud or the smoke or whatever kind of changed there. But I mean, here you can see just the detail in the animation. It looks really sharp. It's something definitely different.
So that is Gris. That's coming from Devolver Digital. Um, and the basic story in here is that it's a serene and evocative experience free of danger, frustration, or death, which that's one of the things I don't like games that don't penalize you if you screw up. Players will explore a meticulous design world brought to life with delicious or with delicate art, animated animation, and an elegant original score. That was one thing that the music sounded really good too. Through the game, light puzzles and platforming sequences and optional skill-based challenges will reveal themselves as more of Gris's world becomes accessible. It is a single player. They're classifying this as a, an adventure platformer action puzzle game. Lazy Galaxy Rebel Story comes out now on the 14th, and it's only $7.99. Let's check it out together. So, sky scrolling, shoot 'em up, very similar to like a, uh, um, like a life force or a. Oh, what am I thinking of? Not Galaga, Konami game. Why am I drawing a blank? Not Zevius. A little bit like our type. Um, looks like you can definitely power up your ship. There you can see there's three different type of ships. Or there's two attachments to your ship that you have. You get to unlock new ships and allies as you play through it. And discover what happened through radio uh, communications. Has Nintendo gotten out of hand yet with the amount of indie releases per week? I know they wanted to release many per week. 20, yeah. I mean, this is, and you figure, these are all indie titles this week. Any indie games for the Switch you recommend? Yes, I will give you two recommendations in a little bit. Oh, and 1UP John is online, and he is playing some Super Smash Brothers. But now we're talking about Peace Death Complete Edition 499. And let's check this guy out real quick. Very much that 8-bit, 16-bit type um, animation style that we have on here. And in here, Peace Death is an arcade simulator that's harder than it may seem at first. In this game, you play as the Grim Reaper, an intern in the Apocalypse Inc., working for death. Examine each client's feature to determine his, her, or its fate and send them to either heaven or hell. Funny clients' phrases, lots of references and Easter eggs, bonus penalties, and very special clients. All of this and more await you in Peace Death. Peace Death Complete Edition includes all the content from Hand of F DLC along with some graphical and gameplay improvements. Single-player action-adventure puzzle game. I might be interested in this, but it's also one of those where, show me the video. And these are, I think, yep, these are our last two to talk about this week. Race Arcade, this is one I really wish there was video of. Even on Nintendo's website, only stills. This is $9.99, and it reminds me almost of like a Micro Machines or an RC Pro-Am with the size of the cars and everything that you have on here. Um... Here you can kind of see the layout and everything. The layouts look like they'd be a lot of fun to race in. Um, it's just very small. I mean, look at how small those cars are on screen. Um, there's 100 tracks to choose from. Uh, track themes vary from normal to race tracks to ice roads, mountain lava fields, and even post-apocalyptic cities. There are six different cars with unique driving models. The car section uh, selection varies from a sports car to real UFO, so there's plenty of things to go through. One to four player local wireless, one player normally. Um, kind of a bummer that there's no online. Why aren't we getting online? And then finally this week we have Firewatch. And let's check it out. Suggested themes, nudity. Ooh. What's in this cave down here? 
storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we are cut off. I'll see what I can do. Okay, so kind of a first person survival. The isolation gets to people. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. So I'm guessing right now that there's actually not anyone talking to this guy on the end of that walkie that it's he's imagining and he's losing his mind. You're probably the last person to have seen them. Hey, you kids! Uh, somebody cut the comms. What? I'm out here and the wire is cut clean through. Wait, you're already there? You're not in your tower? No, I'm not. Then who is? Dun dun dun! Uh, okay, so it's 89. Uh, you are a man named Henry who has retreated from your messy life to work as a fire lookout in the Wyoming wilderness, perched high atop a mountain. It is your job to look for smoke and keep the wilderness safe, and especially hot, dry summer has everyone on edge. Uh, your supervisor, a woman named Delilah, Delilah, is available for you at all times over a small handheld radio, but your only contact with the world you've left behind. Uh, let's see, you'll explore a beautiful wilderness environment that expands as you explore. A tailor-made story, the choices you make shape the narrative. Edge of your seat, mysteries, secrets, and discoveries will be made over every hill. That's Firewatch 1999. Now, coming up next week, we have Hyper Ride, Nightshade, Pipe, Push, Paradise, Fungi Explosion, Horizon Shift 81, the Ringmaker. Let's see what else do we have. Have a little bit of an exclusive to let you guys know about here. Now, a few months back, we covered a game called. Uh, what is it here? I can't remember off the top of my head because my head is pounding. Let's see if we can find it. Let's see if we can find it. There we go. The Adventures of Alina Temple. That's what it was. Um, well, the creator of that, Caitlin Marcoux, has reached out, and he has a game coming out that we will be reviewing. Uh, we will be able to do that and feature that on the channel here on the 13th. We'll actually be live streaming uh, the game. I don't want to... Well, let's see. There's no embargo on any content, so you can put on Village shit whenever it suits you best. So the game is called Cake Laboratory, and I'm not seeing it here yet. Game launches on December 20th in the North American region and December 24th in the North American region. Huh. Okay, so let's look on the 24th. If we can get it, Omega Strike. Nope, 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 nope. It's not showing up here yet. Uh, but we will be covering uh, another game from the creators of Elena Temple. Now, let's answer some questions from the chat uh, while we go through here. So, uh, who was it here who had asked? Uh, Jack, I think, had asked uh, what my favorite Switch game is. Um, depends on my mood. I'll kind of show you. We'll zip out of here. I'll show you some of the games that I have. Mario Odyssey. Double Dragon 4, Crash Bandicoot Trilogy, Street Fighter 30th Anniversary, Warframe, Paladin, Sonic, Mario Kart Deluxe 8, uh, Super Mario Party, Night Trap versus Super Mario Brothers. You can see I've got quite a few games on here. One game that I have that I like that maybe if you guys want to at some point, we'll do some streaming with Use Your Words. Hilariously fun game, uh, but it's one of those where you need people online to be able to play. Um, ukulele is great. I'd say probably my personal favorite has to be Super Mario Odyssey. It is just an amazing game. So well done. Um, it is as close to the perfect platformer as I have played in a really, really long time. Um, let's see. John Early was asking, are, the, are there any indie games I would recommend? Well, technically, would you consider Sonic Mania an indie game? Because Christian Whitehead, well, he's got permission from Sega to use the Sonic uh, likeness and everything. Technically, that's an indie game. Um, other than that, other good indie games? Well, Blaster Master um, uh, Zero. Is that what it is? Blaster Master Zero? The remake of Blaster Master is really, really good. 
Um, I do like Elena Temple and Kentucky Robo Chicken are both fun. Um, ukulele, again, it's another one. Do you consider them a um, indie or not? Because uh, ukulele is phenomenal. Um, Horizon Chase Turbo is another one that's just it's really, really good. Uh, one thing I want to check here, too, is we are supposed to be getting some new games coming up for the Switch Online. Let's check and see if there's anything new and live. And no, nothing yet, but we do have, you know, the, the newest here, we have the Gradius Special, Metroid, Mighty Bomb Jack, and Twin B. Um... Above and beyond that, we've got just our normal releases here for the Switch online service. Um, but I think that's going to do it. Uh, we'll leave it open for a couple more minutes if anyone else in the chat has any more questions. Uh, but always, as always, if, you, uh, you know, if you're watching this after the fact, you can go ahead. If you have any uh, comments or questions, as always, feel free to email us at rocksolidmail at gmail.com. You can follow the channel over on Twitter, at Rock Solid Studios. And then you can also visit us over on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash rocksolidproductions. Um, if you're looking to pick up and get any awesome deals on anything retro gaming related, uh, make sure you check out Ryan over at castlemaniagames.com, uh, especially if you're looking for a clone uh, Super NES system right now. He actually has the Pound Technologies um, Super NES clone on sale for oh, what do I want to say? I want to say it's thirty four ninety nine as of right now. He's got some of the um, the plushies up there too are on sale. So definitely some cool stuff for everyone to check out. <clears throat> Sorry, just having problems with my throat right now too. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, definitely check out castlemaniagames.com. Items, uh, orders over $20, you do get free shipping and handling in the U.S. And on most items on the website, if you use promo code ROX10, you'll save 10% too. Um, above and beyond that, um, you know, I hope you guys and gals out there do have a good week. Um, we are going to be working ahead on a few things for next week. We are working on several videos Um uh, Basically, I'm going to go medicate tonight. Otherwise, I'd be finishing the edits on our PlayStation Classic review. Uh, and we are working on a tutorial. I know a lot of people have shown, hey, you can hack the PlayStation Classic, which is great. I'm going to show you a way that you can actually add games from physical discs to your PlayStation Classic edition. So definitely make sure that you stay subscribed to the channel. Um, if you can do me a favor here, if you're in the stream, if you're watching after the fact, as always, make sure you give us a thumbs up and a like. Share this around. That definitely helps grow the channel. I greatly appreciate it. If this is your first time to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Uh, you know, it's something that we do every Monday. Uh, normally, it's better than this. This is kind of an off show, but like I say, I am just, I am a hurting puppy right now, and I do have a puppy down here. So check this out. I'm going to, where, where'd it go, Murph? Where did it go? So, Murphy Mayhem, who is ha an old, half old English bulldog, half beagle, literally just threw his ball at me because he wants to go outside and play. So I think I'm gonna go take him outside to play. I'm gonna go medicate. Thank you all for watching. Like I say, if you have any comments or questions, leave it down below. If you're watching after the fact, but until next time, we are checked out. 